So at this year's San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, I presented an update of the Taylor X trial. As you may recall, this was a trial that included 10,273 women with uh, estrogen receptor positive, HER2 negative, lymph node negative breast cancer, who were candidates to receive adjuvant systemic chemotherapy in addition to endocrine therapy in order to reduce their risk of recurrence and who met standard NCCN guidelines for either recommending or at least considering adjuvant chemotherapy. All of these patients had the 21 gene Oncotype DX recurrence score and had their treatment guided by uh, the recurrence score result. So for the one third of patients who had either a very low recurrence score of zero to 10 or a high recurrence score of 26 to 100, those patients were assigned to treatment with either endocrine therapy alone or chemotherapy plus endocrine therapy. And we uh, felt confident in making that recommendation at that time because at the time that we designed the trial, there was a high level of evidence suggesting that that was the appropriate treatment for those specific patients. The study, however, was really designed to address where there was therapeutic equipoise. Uh, the majority of patients, two-thirds of the patients who had a recurrence score of 11 to 25, those patients were randomized to receive either chemotherapy plus endocrine therapy, which would, we regarded as a standard treatment arm, or endocrine therapy alone, which was the experimental arm. There were 6,711 women in that group who were randomized. And the primary trial conclusions that we were reported four years ago was that indeed endocrine therapy was non-inferior to chemo plus endocrine therapy, and that chemo endocrine therapy could be uh, effectively spared and safely spared in that population. In this updated analysis, we now had three and a half more years of follow-up, and substantially more events continued to occur after that original analysis. And we found several things. First of all, that the primary trial conclusions remain unchanged with longer follow-up, now out to uh, 12 years, where we can uh, estimate 12-year event rates. Um, secondly, uh, we, the number of late relapses uh, defined as those occurring after five years um, now exceeded the number of early relapses. So patients continue to exhibit a risk of recurrence uh, beyond five years, which, was, which would be the typical course of endocrine therapy for, for a patient. The third uh, thing that we found was racial disparities in outcomes. We, we uh, confirmed our previous reports in this population that black women had worse outcomes that couldn't be explained by differences in tumor size, grade, uh, treatment administered, um, insurance status, and, and other uh, social determinants of health. But we found the new finding here was that black women had a higher risk of recurrence within the first five years of their diagnosis, not beyond five years. So that's a new and important finding. And lastly, we further examined the outcome for women 50 or under in this group who were randomized to chemotherapy uh, or not. And we found that there was a subgroup of women, 50 or under, who did derive some benefit from chemotherapy, now with 12 years of follow-up. And that included women who uh, had a recurrence score of 21 to 25, or 16 to 20, and had higher clinical risk features. And unfortunately, we really don't know yet what's driving this higher recurrence risk. We suspect um, and, and strongly believe that it may be entirely due to an effect of the chemotherapy bringing on or inducing menopause earlier uh, in these women than it would have occurred naturally, and that all of this effect uh, could have been explained by that. And this is particularly true because we saw most of this benefit in women between the ages of 45 and 50 who were closer to the age of having a natural menopause. However, this remains an unanswered question from both the Taylor X trial and I would also add the R Expander trial. And uh, in order to address that, there's a new NCI sponsored trial that is about to open that is being coordinated by the NRG and it will include patients with a recurrent score of up to 25 and one to three positive nodes or who are node negative and have a recurrent score of 21 to 25 or 16 to, to 20. This of course is in women 50 or under and who are premenopausal and have estrogen receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. And um, in this trial, women will be randomized to receive chemotherapy 
plus ovarian function suppression and an aromatase inhibitor, or ovarian function suppression and an aromatase inhibitor alone. And this trial will definitively answer uh, and identify the specific role of chemotherapy in this population.